Yes, that's right. Sunday afternoon must be time for Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, back with episode 120 of Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. I'm coming to you from Vasiliki Harbour on the Greek island of Lefkos. It is 8.30 in the morning and it is fresh, but compared to some of you guys, simply tropical right now. I'm not even wearing a coat. Yes, yeah, so you may be wondering what has been going on at Joyrider TV. Well, the biggest and most significant thing that has happened for me in the past two weeks is I have removed all of the biking videos from Joyrider TV. What? Yes, because the biking videos, I have been informed on a sailing channel, we should keep it to a sailing channel. So we are keeping it now. Joyrider TV, just sailing. There we go. Um, if you are into the biking videos, I have rehoused all of those videos and made a few new ones and they are on a new channel called Biking with Joyrider TV. Check it out. I'll put a link at the end and you can pop over there and subscribe. Show us your cat is of course where we're going to be taking a look at your boats and where it is that you sail them. So if you'd like to get involved with Show Us Your Cat and you'd like to show us your cat, then all you need to do is send me some pictures or some video of your boat and where it is that you sail it. Give us a bit of a story about what it is that you like to do with your boat, when you got it, any modifications you've made to your boat, that kind of thing. And I'll put together a feature for an upcoming episode of Show Us Your Cat. Very nice indeed. We've also got the brand new 2022 speed stick running. Very exciting times. We've so far got five entries on the speed stick and a brand new entry just come in yesterday at number one all the way from Puerto Rico. Oh yeah. So if you'd like to get involved in the speed stick, then please do. All the information of what you need to do is in the video description below. It is time for Show Us Your Cat. So let's jump in and take a look at what we're looking at in this week's Show Us Your Cat on Joyrider TV. We're starting off this week near Grenoble in the French Alps. We're going to Lafre Lake where we have Sam. Sam has got a Hobie 16 with the Zephyr sails. He got this Hobie 16 second hand in March 2021. It was his first own boat and it certainly was not in good condition when he got hold of it. You can see when Sam first got the boat, it had the classic yellow hulls, the blue prism mainsail and the cat fever jib, which didn't really go. Now, Sam started catamaran sailing seven years ago on holiday. He was sailing a new cat, 15, for about four years. And then three years ago, he decided to do a course on the Hobie 16 at Glen Ann's Sailing School on the lake there. While he was there, he got his French sailing license, which meant he was able to rent Hobie 16s, even for solo sailing, which really meant he could boost his level without having his own boat. Then by studying the videos on Joyrider TV, he learned how to trapeze single-handed, and now he's having such a great time on his 16. He upgraded the boat significantly since the purchase. A friend of his made him this pair of Dyneema bridle wires to replace the metal ones. This is actually my first time seeing Dyneema bridles on a 16. Be interested to hear how they're doing after a few years. And then there was a bit of delamination on the starboard hull where it was a bit soft 
just in front of the pylon. And Sam fixed that with some epoxy injection. Very good job. He's changed the old jib blocks and he's got the new race Trentec traveler cars, just like the modern boats. The boat came with Lexan rudder blades. They're the ones which are extremely heavy and they bend quite a lot. But he replaced those by purchasing a second-hand pair of carbon reinforced blades. And then came the biggest upgrade, this suit of Zephyr sails, which look absolutely fantastic. And they really go nicely with the yellow hulls. Now Club Chalong on Lafray Lake, it's a small, very gusty lake where you have to tack about every 250 meters. This really helped Sam to get good at trapezing on the helm. If he wants to stretch his legs, he goes to Parentis and Bourne Lake near to Bordeaux. That's a big lake that gets the good winds off the Atlantic. So well done, Sam, for getting in to the Hobie 16 Club. Nice job. I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of very good times on your yellow hulled Zephyr. Thanks very much for sending us those pictures and video. Next, we're heading to Canada to Lake Ontario, sailing out of Toronto, we have Craig. Craig has got a 1998 Sailcraft Tornado, which was built in Canada. When he first got the boat, the boat came very much in the classic format, just with the mainsail and the jib. I don't know. I would dare say a single trapeze on there as well. But since owning the boat, Craig's fitted a spinnaker kit with a single line hoist system. He's still using the original sails as you can see there, but that's a real testament to how well these sails were made. Still going strong after 30 years. But he is on the lookout to modernize his boat further with a self tacking jib and a square top main. Here's Craig sailing on Lake Ontario with Franz and Anthony, really clipping along nicely on this massive expanse of water. Craig wanted a bit more out of his tornado, so he designed and built this innovative hiking chair. He built it using carbon fiber hockey stick shafts, which are super light, and very strong. He says, the chair allows me to sit up higher for better visibility and to get the weight further outboard so you can hold more power. He's got one on each side and he finds it very comfortable and a great place to control his boat from. So great job there, Craig, on that modification to your tornado. And it really does look like you have a great time on that boat. If anybody in Canada or nearby happens to be selling a square top mainsail for a tornado, I'm sure that Craig would love to hear from you so that he can make that next upgrade. And next we're heading back just slightly south to St. Catherine's Multi-Hole Club where we were in the previous episode, where we have Vic and Vic's Prindle 16. Now from the last episode, the wings on Vic's Prindle 16 raised quite a few questions. And a lot of you would like to know a bit more about these wings as they're certainly not standard. So firstly, Vic says the benefits that he finds from having the wings, as he says, the wings support your back gives you a much better, more comfortable seating position for long day sailing. You can fly on the trapeze much further and higher. It's absolutely exhilarating trapezing off the wings. You stay drier. There's a lot of storage space under the wings, which again, is good for day sailing. Vic designs and builds these wings. They can be installed on any catamaran. Each wing weighs just four and a half kilograms. That's a lot lighter than the standard Hobie wings like on an 18 Magnum. 
There's no bending or welding to the metal involved. It's all riveted and bolted together using aircraft two by two aluminium tubes. And then each wing can be folded in for transportation or parking. They really do look like a great solution for anybody who's looking to get a bit more out of their boat. If you want to get a set of wings, Vic has said he'll happily make them for you. Put it in the comments below if you'd like to be put in touch with Vic so that you can then get the ball rolling and get a set of wings on your boat. So thanks very much to Vic for sharing with us those pictures and giving more people the opportunity to get their way outboard without the need to trapeze. So I'll be back in two weeks with some more Show Us Your Cat. I'll be back on Friday with more Q and A live and there'll be other videos appearing throughout. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon with some more on Joyrider TV.